Hello, my name is Ryan Dark, and I'm a certified SolidWorks application engineer here at Go Engineer. In this Go Engineer Quick Tips video, I will be showing you how to make a forming tool that forms across the bend of a sheet metal object in order to make the gusset that you see before you here. So, uh, something to note about this gusset: it's truly only for aesthetic purposes. You uh, can't form a flat pattern while having this gusset active on the sheet metal. So if I want to have the flat pattern, I have to suppress the gusset from my feature tree. So let's go ahead and go into how this was created. Go ahead and create a new part. In this part, I'm going to create a base on which to construct the forming tool. So I just take uh, a couple lines. I place them in a 90 degree angle because that's the angle at which my bend is at. Uh, I take the sketch fillet to make the corner on which the sheet metal bend is. Now this is the most important part of forming this object. This corner has to be uh, the bend radius of the sheet metal plus the thickness of the sheet metal. So in my case it's 10 millimeters plus a thickness of 1 millimeter, creating 11 millimeters. And there we go. And now my geometry is going to be constructed onto this, so I'm going to create just a, a boss extrusion. Let's go ahead and make it a mid-plane. Pull it out a little more for a little more space to work with. And it's going to have the thickness be directed outward. So I'm working on that 11 millimeter radius to create my forming tool. So uh, creating the actual forming tool, I'm just going to go back onto the front plane, create a new sketch, and put on whatever shape I feel like having for a forming tool. I just want diagonal in this case for my gusset. Uh, I'll get the, the back side of the, the profile here just by select tangency, convert entities, and then trim entities to trim off the excess entities. So now I have a closed profile of a triangle with a rounded corner on the inside. So let's go ahead and create an extrusion out of that. Uh, it's a little bit thin. We'll widen that out. We'll make it a mid-plane as well. Okay, cool, there we are. So now I have a bunch of hard edges on my forming tool. That's not going to be very particularly good for sheet metal, so I'm going to take my fillet command. Uh, I'm just going to put in my sheet metal bend radius of 10 millimeters, and I'm going to select all the faces that have hard edges on them. And there we go, perfect. So my forming tool is pretty much constructed. I just have to cut off the base. So I go back in, I grab the sketch that created the base, I use it for an extrude cut command. It's going to cut away all of that backside, leaving just the forming tool behind. So at this point, uh, it's ready to be turned into a forming tool. So I go over to the sheet metal toolbar. I select forming tools, or I can go insert sheet metal forming tools. Uh, it doesn't matter. So here we go, forming tools, stopping face. I can only select one, it has to be a planar face. So I select one of my planar faces. Remove faces, those are all the other faces that are on the back side that I don't want to see. Those two. So I accept that. Now the coloring of my forming tool is all set. Yellow is all the geometry I'm going to see, red is going to be removed, blue is also going to be removed, but it's also the face that I'm going to be using for placement onto the sheet metal. So this is complete. At this point you save this file and you move it into your sheet metal forming tools directory. In this case I've created a cross bends folder, I've put a gusset forming tool into it. Uh, it's ready to go, it's ready to be pulled out onto a sheet metal object. So going over to the sheet metal just going to go into the forming tools area, pull my gusset forming tool out, and place it onto the face. That doesn't look quite right because I wanted this line to line up with one of the edges of my, my bend radius, so I'm just going to add a relation to make them collinear. There it goes, it flips it around. Place it about center, and select finish. There we go, it's created the forming tool. I have all the geometry on the side that I want to be on, and I have a gusset with a bunch of removed material. Um, so that's something that you can use to impress your friends um, or just make your sheet metal objects look more like the final product if you intend on putting gussets into place. So uh, this has been Ryan Dark with Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos for more tips on using SolarWorks.